After being closed for nearly a year, a popular Bellevue Park is set to get a facelift. For the first time today, families got a chance to see what the new Red Caboose Park will look like. News Channel 5's Eric Hill shows us what you can expect from the $600,000 plan. On a warm, sunny January day, you'd expect Bellevue's Red Caboose Park to be packed with kids, but instead, it's quiet. Over the years, the two decades old wooden playground collected safety complaints, including positive tests for traces of arsenic. I was always having Metro come out and fix nail pops and, and repair beams. So last year, it was torn down and locked up, leaving a fenced off plot of gravel behind and leaving families with one less resource. Oh, super frustrating, right? Um, yeah, it's put a real damper on our being outside and playing in the parks. I've been this much sad. But today, five-year-old Tiffany's sadness turned around. As she and dozens of others got their first looks at the new upgrades for the park. This is the kickoff, and, and I figured we were going to have some people here, and this is overwhelming. The $650,000 project includes things like swings, merry-go-rounds, playground equipment and tree houses, and a relocation of the park's namesake, the Red Train Caboose. Because what good is having Red Caboose Playground without a Red Caboose, right? All part of a plan to restore a part of the community that neighbors say is much more than just a park. It means a lot to have somewhere that the kids can all go. The playground has always been the center of everything that goes on in Bellevue. Historically, it just makes sense that it, it, it's the connecting piece. In Bellevue, Eric Hilt, News Channel 5. Work on the project is set to begin in the spring. City officials hope to have a ribbon, a ribbon cutting for the new playground in June.